Roadhouse came out yesterday. By the way, the name of the Roadhouse is not Double Deuce. It's just called Roadhouse. Roadhouse. The name of the Roadhouse <laughs> is the Roadhouse. Although, did you notice that when Dalton first gets off the bus, there's a laundromat that's called the Double Deuce? I, I didn't think catch was, that. Oh. Yeah, well, it's, it's, right, it's the store that's right beside the bookstore. And it's called the Double Deuce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was either a laundromat or flowers or something like mm-hmm. that. So I caught that, but they just called the Roadhouse. All right. So this reimagining of the Patrick Swayze, I almost said Patrick Stewart classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Make Patrick so. Swayze classic <laughs> different movie. Roadhouse <laughs> came out. And you know, uh, director Doug Lyman was talking pretty big about it. I mean, he, he thought this was a really good film. He thinks it's one of his best films. He thinks it should definitely be in theaters. Well, watched it yesterday. I think I low key loved it. I mean, like not a not a top. Don't get me wrong, not a top five movie of the year or anything like that. But as somebody who really appreciated the first, I love the first Roadhouse. I can practically quote that movie. Never seen it. You've never seen the first yeah. Roadhouse, Jonathan? Never seen it. Yeah, yeah, I've seen okay. it a long, okay. long time ago. Yeah. So uh, anyway, it's terrific. Got to watch it. Be nice. Actually, I was really. They didn't use that line. I was waiting for. I was waiting for Jake Gyllenhaal to tell his other bouncers, be nice, but they never did, and that's fine. (laughs) This was a great example of a remake that is clearly based on the original, but making their own movie at the same time, Yeah. right? Uh, this, This Roadhouse is a great example of that. It's clearly a Roadhouse remake, but really making its own movie at the same time. And I gotta tell you, let me let me start with this. Jake Gyllenhaal is awesome in this yeah. movie. He, he he is good. He he makes me believe this Dalton character all the way through. I believe he's smart. I believe he's tortured, and I believe he's the toughest guy in the room. At every single stage of the movie, he comes across as all of that. And then they gave they give him a little bit of a darker angle as well, which I won't go into, but they give him a bit of a darker angle. And I'm not talking about the fact that I lose control when I get angry, because they showed that in the trailers. But no, there's there's a part to his backstory that when they really reveal it, I'm just like, oh, that is kind of dark. And I really liked it for that. But Jake Gyllenhaal is the shining North Star of this movie. He carries this movie. He's fantastic in it. Um, I, I loved every moment he's on screen. The fights were great. The fights were fantastic. Jalen Hall got himself into amazing shape. It was a little ridiculous in the first scene of the movie, seeing what's his face. Uh, uh, um, Post Malone. Post, Post Malone, Malone in it. Yeah, yeah, like, was... I'm, I'm supposed to believe Post Malone's tough. Anyway, <laughs> dang. Whatever. Shots fired. That, that aside, no, I mean, I'm sure. Look, I mean, Whoa. like tough on that yeah, level, right? Sure. I'm supposed yeah, yeah. to believe tough, like post tough Malone. That's his tough name. Malone. There I'm you supposed go. to believe post Malone. post Malone is like tough <laughs> on that level. Anyway, but th- that aside, um, just wonderful. It followed the story through. I love seeing a number of the actors popping up, who pop up in this thing that I wasn't expecting to see which was great. Again, the fight choreography was great. The one-liners were really great. Jake Gyllenhaal carries this thing. It's exactly what this movie should be. Let me talk for a second about Doug Liman, though. Mm. Doug Liman made a big hissy fit about the fact that he wanted this on the big screen. Mm -hmm. Now, take out the he said, she said about, well, they offered him to put on the big screen, but he gets less money, and he took the money. Put all that aside for a second. About halfway through watching Roadhouse, I was like, Hell yes, this should have been in a movie theater. Like, I'm watching this last night. I'm like, I wish I was in a movie theater watching this. This is just shot in such a way and everything that I I just would have loved to have seen this movie in the movie theater. Amazon, you completely fucked up. You completely screwed up. You have idiots working for you. Fire whoever made the decision to put this straight to streaming because they're incompetent. This should have (laughs) been in a movie theater. And it wouldn't have made $500 million, but it would have been a Great experience, made some money, and then when you did put it on Amazon Prime, more people would have tuned in to watch it. I guarantee you that. More people would have tuned in to watch it than tuned in to watch it last night. Anyway, now that I got that side rant off there, let me talk about the one bad thing about Roadhouse. Oh, here we go. Who is it? Carla McGregor, baby! (laughs) It's like they sat down. Okay, Uh... Doug Lyman sits down with Conor McGregor, and Conor McGregor's (laughs) like, it's an honor to work with you, sir. I'm not even going to try to do his accent. It's an honor to work with you. Mr. Lyman, I love your movies. I've been a fan of them since growing up. So, great. What would you like me to do, Mr. Lyman? Okay. 
I want you to talk like this. And I want everything, everything that comes out of your mouth to talk like this. And say fook and baby as many times as you can. And always in this tone. And, and like, always have a smile on your and face. And always say smiling. And always talk like did it, this. Did, was like, it me or did when when, when he spoke <laughs> uh, so, on so, some of those lines, it sounded like they dubbed it in. Like, like. Oh, like I'm sure it, it did. I'm sure someone was ADR. Around it. Oh, yeah. man. It was like, make this guy stereotypical Irish as possible. Like. I, I mean, me lucky that's, charms. That's fine. I don't listen. When I see great Italian characters on screen, I don't mind using some Italian stereotypes if you use them smart and make the character more than just the stereotypes. I don't even mind having some of those stereotypes that that McGregor used. That that's fine, but give him more than one note and one smile yeah. hey baby you're cute want to dance <laughs> hey fellas i hope you're having a smashing good time who parked those bike like every now i'm I sounding hate this song yeah i hate this <laughs> song <laughs> now i'm not even now i'm sounding more scottish i think than irish but oh it's okay. great but, but i will give i will give him this i will give conor mcgregor this remember i was talking about how jake gyllenhaal made all the action believable uh-huh Got to give every ounce of that sure. too, as well to Conor McGregor. You better know how to do fight choreography. I, but you know what? You can know how to fight, but not know how to do fight choreography. For a camera, yeah, right. exa For exactly, exactly, right. You can know how to fight, but not know how to put on a show, right? And from everything from his classic, and it is stupid, but Conor McGregor's <laughs> stupid walk. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it in the movie. I love it. I loved it. <laughs> it, it kind it, of it, the, like, especially when there's 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 a post credits. Did you see? No, you no, 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 no. I have thirty more. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind, everyone. I have thirty more minutes. Yeah. The reason we why have thirty more minutes. The reason oh, yeah, why you're only an hour and a half into it so <laughs> yeah. far. The reason why I haven't done the segment thumbnails yet is because from the very beginning of this movie, Jonathan <laughs> saw me. I said, "This is my type of movie." I love when badasses think they're badass until they run into the bigger badass and they get what they deserve. Connor, I believe, he has charisma oozing out of him. No matter if he sounded stupid, this guy, even when he walked in, he started dancing, he still danced with his his stupid duck duck yeah, legs. Whatever. Duck walk, I mean, yeah. what about the open, when we first see him and what he's wearing? Oh, yeah, he's butt naked. But anyways, <laughs> anyways the, it may his not be that too. hard to do, but you are you know you did a good job if I want the bad guy makes me want to see him get his butt kicked. You know what I mean? Like I wanted to see Connor get his butt kicked like right away. Like this guy needs to get punched by Jake. So he was doing a good job for me. I haven't finished it. I can't really speak on the ending, but I'm loving it so far. We did see I that clubbing the scene. Thing. I agree with Which the scene? thing. With the club, he just Dion is saying clubbing when he's like, I haven't been clubbing in a while. And he oh, grabs his yeah, club. And he's got the club. <laughs> now you can't blame Connor McGregor for that. That's he didn't write the line. It's, it was written, but, but, Let's let make let there be no shadow of doubt. Let there be no misinterpretation. Conor McGregor cannot act. <laughs> let's like let's have no delusions about this. No false impressions. How'd Conor you, McGregor cannot act. How do you how do you feel about the Luis sort of character? I hate to call him that, but you know that's what I talking. call him. Yeah, yeah, John, like Luis, the, the funny. Like he's from Ant Man. Oh, like, I oh thought yeah, he was the in the trailer. He's trying and to be yeah, like the dude Luis who's from... in the trailer, who's one of the biker guys who early in the trailer gets his ass kicked with everybody else. But then when he's talking to the big bad guy, he's like, you know, he was actually really nice. He beat <laughs> yeah. the crap out of us, and then he drove us to the hospital. He was, you know, overall really <laughs> interesting guy. guy. Delightful. Yeah, he was a really, really fun guy. Yeah. I liked him. In I think it. he fit. I think he was like a good counterpart to Jalen Hall's like kind of Seriously. first like. You know, that, that manner, that demeanor that Gyllenhaal brought. They kind of work yeah. off each other really well. Yep. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Conor McGregor can't act, but in the hands of Doug Liman as a director, he, I always say this, what a director needs to do when you've got a, an iffy actor. Hmm. Put the actor in positions that highlights their strengths and hides their weaknesses. Now, there's no hiding absolutely zero acting talent, <laughs> but... He knew what Conor McGregor could bring to the screen in this, and he leaned right into it. And when asked to do that, Conor delivered. And there's two big fights. You can tell from the trailers there's right. two separate fights between Hall and McGregor, and they're both awesome. They're both oh, are they? fun to watch. Like the final fight? That oh, I that's right. Seen you it? still haven't seen the final fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Super fun to watch. 
Um, they, the, the two of them just worked really, really well together. You know what's unfortunate, John? Is that Madam Webb was in theaters and the movie like this. It did not. Yeah. yeah. Think about that. Madam Webb got a big theatrical release and Roadhouse did not. By the way, I should also mention this. Rat Catcher 2. I can't, I can't remember the actress's she name. Was in, oh, that's why she looked familiar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the doc in, in this version of remember Patrick Swayze had his doc in, in the original, yeah. The Blonde Girl. This In this one, it's uh, Rat Catcher 2, and I can't remember the actress's uh, name. Me. But, oh, okay, look, you already knew in Suicide Squad she was stunning. She looks even more stunning here. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, she's... She got and, a tan and everything. Daniela Melkor... I'll take your word for it. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever read her, read her name, but Is she's really good. Like yeah. she totally, I bought her. I bought her that she's a doctor. I bought that she doesn't take a lot of crap. I bought why she would kind of find herself attracted to this guy, despite the fact that she's a totally different kind of person. So she was great. And the chemistry between Jake Gyllenhaal and her was actually really good. Um, the bartender was great too. Oh, the girl plays the bartender. Yeah, she yes. was a little cute. She was a little. She she brought everything down to earth. Like, yeah, she kept everything calm. In yeah, such, she was a grounding yeah, force. Yeah, in, in such a, a I like rowdy a environment. But I, I mean, at the same time, let's be honest. This is a very basic story. I mean, oh, there's nothing sure. complex about for this story. Sure. Oh yeah. What you see at the beginning, that is the story. And like, I was telling, I was telling Jonathan, oh, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. So far, yeah. I've been right on yeah. everything. Like, there, and there's also a little bit of Top Gun Maverick in this. You know how in the Top Gun Maverick, it's like they they don't even name who the bad guys are. In this <laughs> the, the enemy. Like <laughs> in this one, it's like the bad guys' plot is so full of holes. <laughs> <laughs> like and like uh, like Ann and I were just watching, kind of laughing. He's like, "Wait a minute! If they're trying to do that, what about this?" Right. Nah, the movie doesn't even worry about it. Like the bad guy's plot is completely full of holes. All that matters is bad guy wants land, and <laughs> the roadhouse is in the way. Send in Conor McGregor, and it's yeah. just and you know what? Credits roll. I had fun, man. Was I there, had fun. It's everything say, I wanted it to be. Did you say there's bloopers in the post credits or whatever? You said there's a post credit scene. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. There's okay. a post credit scene. Well, it's, it's, sorry. I, anything that happens after the end of the movie, I call a post credit scene. It's what you would call a mid credit scene, uh, but whatever. Yeah. So there is a, a Jake little Jake gets picked up by a chauffeur and he's like, Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Oh, boy. He's now Batman. <laughs> I just, listen, as good as the original, different than the original. Top five movie of the year? No fun movie to watch if you're into this kind of movie like i am I, I think you would do well to get a couple of friends together you know order some food and right. and sit down and watch roadhouse this weekend i think you're gonna have a good time and everyone has prime just give it a shot if you don't like it in the first 15 minutes then it's not for you You know what there's a lot of movies that you can't say that about right oh, because movies change right. and evolve but ray's absolutely right you will know in the first 15 minutes if this movie's for you because it kind of gives you the overall tone of the movie <laughs> right in the first 10, 15 minutes. So you'll be off to the races. But let's say this just quickly. Theoretically, if this was in theaters, do you think this actually makes 200? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I mean, not, not opening then, then, weekend, then it, but I think it makes 200 million. Then yeah. it absolutely would have been worth it. Yeah, I think it totally would. And then, of course, guys, we want to thank a sponsor of today's video, better help guys it's a brand new year and a lot of people are making new year's resolutions you know things they want to change about themselves but i've always believed that it's also equally as important to identify the things we're doing well and building on those and therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick i've always believed that nothing impacts our daily performance in our jobs our hobbies our relationships like our mental health and i've also said for a long time that it's about time that we stop just putting emphasis on improving our physical health by getting out to the gym, but also by putting emphasis on improving our mental health as well. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you gotta do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So guys, celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash Campia. And I, I'm, I'm not trying to use hyperbole, and I'm not trying to be facetious. Whatever the view numbers Amazon gets on Roadhouse this weekend, 
if they had put it in theaters first and then onto Amazon Prime, yeah. those viewer numbers would have been doubled. Mm -hmm. Minimum doubled. I still don't understand the idiots over there for putting this out on streaming rather than putting it in theaters first. It, there's no upside to it. So Amazon, who quite often does some very, very smart things, but come on, guys, get your act together. This was this was a big loss for you guys. Yeah. You're and you look really stupid. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just, look, I'm just saying. You made no, yourselves no. look really stupid by putting this thing straight to straight to streaming. So, but whatever. You asked Doug Lyman to make you a good movie, and for whatever other drama's going on and weird things that Doug Lyman is saying, Doug Lyman delivered. Him and Jake Hall made a really fun movie. Go check it out. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.